to be back. It's nice to be back, John. Good hey. to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you. I'm very excited about uh, Miss Jennifer Hudson coming up in just a little while. Oh, man, she's incredible. She's the voice of an angel. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yes. Once-in-a-lifetime talent. Yeah, super soulful. I, I, I'm not going to be out-complimenting by you. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know she's, it was a contest. She, she, she's ultra-tremendous. Yeah, she's ultra-ultra-tremendous. <laughs> she's ultra-times infinity tremendous, John. I think I just... Well, just I'm the host. I, I won. I, Okay. It's important to me. That's how fragile my ego is. <laughs> there was some... No, no. Thank you for my ego. Thank you for... That's... Thank you for applauding my fragile ego. Um, there was some surprising news this week about InfoWars founder and customer making the waitress cry, Alex Jones. <laughs> the insane radio host is in a custody battle right now, and so he's trying to prove that he's stable enough to care for children. Unfortunately for him, he works uh, in front of a camera. I'm a pioneer. I'm an explorer. I'm a human, and I'm coming. I'm animated. I'm alive. My heart's big. It's got hot blood going through it fast. I like to fight, too. I like to eat. I like to have children. I'm going to say that might be grounds for you to not have children. <laughs> Clips like that make Alex Jones seem less like a fit parent and more like a coked-out football coach in a police standoff. <laughs> we were going to state! We were going to state! <laughs> Sir, get off the scoreboard. We were going to state! <laughs> but... <laughs> just my high school? <laughs> just my high school? That was good. That, that boy, good. That boy, good. But in a dramatic twist now, his lawyer is arguing that Alex Jones is playing a character and is a performance artist. I'm not sure that helps. <laughs> Do we really want children to be raised by performance artists? No dessert until you finish eating your flag. <laughs> then tell me what it meant. <laughs> of course, not everyone realizes he's playing a character like the most famous Alec Jones supporter, Donald Trump, who appeared on Jones' show during the election. Your reputation's amazing. I will not let you down. You will be very, very uh, impressed, I hope. And I think we'll be speaking a lot, but you'll be, uh, you'll be looking at me in a year, in a year or two years. Let's give me a little bit of a time to, to run things. But uh, a year into office, you'll be saying, wow. Mr. President, we've been saying wow since day one. <laughs> But here's the deal. If Alex Jones really is a character, then President Trump got fished hard. <laughs> this is worse than when George H.W. Bush gave the Presidential Medal of Freedom to RoboCop. <laughs> but I, for one, I feel for Alex Jones. I mean, everybody knows that for many years I played a satirical right-wing character, okay? This happened to me all the time when I played my right-wing character, talk radio host, Tuck Buckford. <laughs> I think we have a clip. Jim? Welcome back to Brain Fight. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, people, the liberals want to tattoo Obama logos onto the skin of Christian babies, okay? And it makes me want to fight. Fight with my fists. My blood is on fire. My heart is a volcano. It's time to throw a virgin in there. <laughs> I'm a skeleton wrapped in angry meat. I'm a warrior. I'm a king. One thing I'm not is a performance artist, because I hate artists because Andy Warhol put chemicals in Campbell's soup that turns veterans into bisexual zombies. <laughs> now a word from our sponsor, self-lubricating catheters. Buy my vitamins! Wow. <laughs> I was so young back then. We'll be right back with Jennifer Hudson.